الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول بقول الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and عبد القراج يسدائف ومسكين وظالم الجهاد and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah all the questions and people asking and emails coming in that uh, how do I do this, how do I do that, how do I get the energy to do this. Uh, how to keep my focus to be or himma, I guess it summarizes everything is how to have the zeal in which to perform practices. So it means whether somebody's trying to meditate, not able to, somebody trying to get the energy to to do a service, do a khidmat, a khidmat a, to be of service and remember that anything in respect to dunya means that when we want to do something for dunya, shaitan helps us. You want to do something for work, for money, for any type of dunya issue, shaitan helps you. He gives the servant an energy and a zeal in which to accomplish because the nafs involved, work involved, money and pay is involved and anything we want to do in Allah's way shaitan blocks it. So if you understand and if we understand and contemplate that when I, when I do for shaitan he helps. So even al halal rizq anything that we want to do in relationship to dunya matters Shaitan stays out of the way, facilitate happen because he wants the servant to be distracted in dunya. As soon as they want to do something for the heavens, for their soul, for the reality in which Allah created us, shaitan, oh, oh, oh no, stop that. So these are the realities of energy. That's why everything comes down to energy. Now you can ask a thousand questions in this variation, how do I get to go to the mall, how do I get to get the energy, how do I get time to meditate, how do I schedule for this, how do I… The core of it goes to if we're doing for shaitan and for dunya shaitan helps us. That's why work and everything related to workflows even work and happen. Anything that we… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Try to do for Rahman, shaitan blocks us. When we understood that, then what's the remedy? to fight shaitan. And the only en energy source that we have is the salawat on Prophet the durood al sharif not sharif, salawat al Nabi is the weapon for the believer. Means they keep their wudu and they begin their practices, the source of their energy, himma which would be their zeal fuel for their soul and for their entire being is this salawat on Prophet That's it. If you increase your salawat you have zeal, a lot of energy starts to come. If you're increasing daily making your salawat and you say, I'm going to do 100 a day, I'm going to start going to 300 a day, I'll go to 500 a day and consistently reaching that mark, this is your energy field. 
This is your himma, your zeal, the source of all energy. Without fuel the nicest car means nothing, means the donkey doesn't go anywhere, doesn't do anything in Allah's way, especially in, in this darajat and in this way of, of such a high level of belief and love for Prophet Shaitan immediately would distract the donkey, no, 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 don't do anything. They say, oh as soon as I want to do meditation I can't, I'm distracted by something else, as soon as I want to do this I can't, I, why I want to go to the mall, the, the, all these questions that we've all been having, they say, okay the source of this fuel and the reality of it is salawat on Prophet Anyone who can sit consistently making their durood and their salawat should feel an immense amount of energy. That energy is what we'll be using for our zeal and our ability to do things. You have that energy, now you can sit down to make your awrat. You have that energy, you can start to do your posting and, and different khidmat or go out to be of service. You have that energy on a consistent basis, then you have the zeal in which to sit for meditation because the energy that we do from the salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad is a shield, is an immense light that begins to radiate into the heart of the servant that burns away shaitans. So when you sit for your muraqabah they can't come near you because you're doing so much salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad So that's why this is a doctor's office. So when these emails and questions are coming it's a sign that you're not doing salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad it's our energy source. So it's very, very sort of scientific. If you don't have that energy source, you're not doing it and producing this light, a, a special light of protection comes out, then of course you're emailing you're under attack, then you're emailing you're tired and lazy, you're emailing that, I just can't find the time to do anything for the heavens. So it answers all of that. So like a doctor's office they look at your tongue and they know exactly what's wrong with you, what type of medication you need. So it means in these days the most powerful medication is durood al-sharif salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad And even to the extent where somebody says, well, oh I was playing the durood in the house but they weren't doing it. And uh, playing in the durood in the house is great for the energy of the home and all the beings that are coming. So this is only one aspect of it. But as soon as you put the tasbih in your hand, Muhammad Muhammad, you're igniting this fire within the heart and with the soul of the being. And that, that fire within us is the zeal. That fire within us is the energy that comes and produces, burns the shayateen. All the inner devils become burned by durud al-sharif and as a result all the outer devils stay away. If we don't do the durud al-sharif and don't read the line khirat, don't read the burd al-sharif, don't do any uh, naat or salawat or do anything, what happens? You're completely deficient of any Divine energy. So with what energy were you planning on meditating with? Nothing. Your dunya energy? People want to watch uh, motivational videos from dunya people on dunya issues? That's not what you're lacking, you're not lacking motivation, you're lacking fuel. And the only fuel that will fuel us, not dhikr of Allah because that's not for you but the durood al-sharif that includes the dhikr of Allah and the praising upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So this is the most highest, this is the, this is the salawat that Allah the dhikr that Allah is making in Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi. That's it, that's the source of all power, all power, all zeal and energy because within it is praising Allah in the way that Allah wants to be praised. 
Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad wa sallim. So it means that key is the key for everything, it fixes everything. When we're lacking energy, we feel sick, make the rudh sharif. When you lack the himma and zeal to do heavenly work, heavenly projects, uh, improvement of the self within the realm of heavenly realities, its key is the durood al sharif. So, we've never seen an email saying, Oh Shaykh, I do so much durood al sharif, but I just absolutely feel like I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to go do my tafakkur, I don't want to do my khidmat and my service. So, they leave out this essential element and then go back and ask yourself, So, then what was your source of power? That it was just self improvement videos would give you power? Or that the durood is playing in the living room but you, you yourself are not having the state of durood, you're not putting these salawats and energizing the heart, the hand, the soul, the entire being. And you'll see that our life is an energy reality, that in the nights of zikr that those whom their hearts are, are energized by the zikr they can't sleep till morning. Forget about the shaykhs they can't sleep because all night these energies are coming they can't sleep. But the people whom experience the zikr whether they're at home or at the center they know that they feel very energized. And if your children are sitting in the room you'll see that they have a difficulty sleeping, they're very energized by the zikr or you'll see them knock out, as soon as the zikr is over they're super energized. Because of the realities that dress upon the soul. And you see that people can be sustained by the dhikr of Allah the durood al-sharif, the salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad Because we're energy people and we practice in these energy worlds. That as soon as we have these majlises people are energized, they feel so much energy coming. And that's the proof that when we have this energy then there's a tremendous amount of zeal, the willingness to achieve towards the heavens, the willingness to do projects and, and things that need to be done to accomplish what Allah wants for us. But if we leave this essential element, ask ourselves then what is our fuel source? You're even in, enabled to un, unable to read Qur'an. So then you wash, make your wudu, do your durood the sharif for energy to keep shaitans away and then read Holy Qur'an, energize with power. So it becomes the, the weapon for the believer in which the light of Prophet dresses their heart, dresses their soul, dresses their character. And what Prophet promised then for us is, remember me one time and my soul will come to be present with you and give you ten praisings back. So imagine then you're doing hundred, two hundred, three hundred salawats, a thousand salawats per day, the presence of Prophet is with that servant. What's more powerful than that against shaitan? There is nothing more powerful, there is no one more powerful against shaitan than the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So why call on anything lesser? Why think anything else going to help me? That is the secret of A'uzu Billah. So before you even open the reality of Bismillah, its secret is Allah says, seek refuge from shaitan. Where, where am I going to seek refuge? In the presence, Jawuka wa astaghfirullah wa astaghfirukum rasul. That go always to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So then the buraq of the believer is their tasbih. As soon as they put the tasbih in their hand it has an immense lie, shaitan is scared of that, the sight of that tasbih. Especially the one that been used often, it has a light that emanating from it. As soon as they begin to praise, fires and Divinely lights are coming from their soul and from their heart and the shaitans see that and they begin to run from that. Something that is not imaginable. It's, it's not in anything that anybody can understand. Why? Because it brings the presence of Prophet ﷺ, his nur and his light and that's something that the, the shaitan is not going to be in the presence of. 
So means then it heals us. For those whom are not feeling well, they feel sick, make the the sharif. Keep yourself in wudu and keep your taweez and do consistently your durood the sharif throughout the day. You should have immense amount of himma. Just like on the thicker nights that people can't sleep because there's so much energy radiating from them. Those whom their hearts have become attuned with the energies and the realities. So it means that this is our, our most powerful weapon. We pray that Allah inspire us to be consistent. And that to feel that energy and every time you're making your durur the sharif you'll be using your tongue, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ala Sayyidina Muhammad and you begin to make it more khafi, more concentrated within the heart and the soul in which you see yourself a Rosa sharif in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Don't look to see him. We're not like the people Bani Israel asking keep saying, Allah why I want to see Allah? Means that you keep the adab of, I'm just at Rosa Sharif is enough for me. I'm not at a station to see you, I'm not in a clean position to be near you. I just want to be at Rosa Sharif at your maqam, keep me at your feet. And then they begin to make the durood, the Sharif and salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad and consistently day by day, day by day they should feel their energy increasing. Until it becomes an energy in which you sustain yourself and it plays in your home and in your car and in your environment everywhere because you feel that you're being sustained by this energy, it becomes the reality of your life force. This is what we have to achieve, not that it's something ooh, occasionally. Then they wonder why all these emails are coming, I can't do this, I don't have time for this, I don't have the himma for this. Because we left out the core of it which is the fuel and the salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad SubhanAllah Rabbika Rabbil Izzat Amma Yusifoon Wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa Hurmati Muhammad Al Mustafa Wa Siri Surat Al Fatiha Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.